Hello, it's Mr. Tando, and I'm going to deal with the fitness aspect of my five um, key attributes to winning a fight. Um, if uh, you're matched up against someone that's um, same strength, the, you know, they know they've been training the same amount of time, they've got the same sort of knowledge as you, they've got the same reach as you, um, some, and, and they're just as tough as you are, sometimes you're just going to have to try and outlast them. Um, using your uh, using fitness basically or, or overpower them with your fitness um, or it might be that there's a bunch of people that are trying to go after you and you've got to leg it <laughs> you've got to run as fast as you can for as long as you can because you don't get caught which is you know which is fine uh, or maybe you have to stay and defend somebody um, heaven forbid uh, from an overwhelming odds you're going to need a lot of fitness anyway to deal with it a um, good way of doing a fitness that we, like we do every week in the lesson uh, will be your cardio, stuff like um, running, swimming, shadow boxing, uh, it can be uh, plyometric exercises that get you puffing, um, anything that gets you breathing going. Now, whilst you're doing those exercises, there's ways of breathing to make it a little bit easier for you. So, this is one way. Um, I t if you take in three small breaths and without two small breaths instead of three to three, it'll be. All right. It um it does it does a couple of things. It gets um, more uh, oxygen in than would be doing if you was doing like fifty fifty. Because you're naturally using um, oxygen whilst you're exercising, so you want to take in a little bit more than you're putting out. Um, or psychologically look at it that way. Uh, another thing it's doing is it's, uh, whilst you're thinking about it, you're not necessarily thinking about um, actively doing the exercise. So say if I start running around the hall and I'm thinking, oh, ah, uh, uh, running is rubbish. Oh, I hate running. Oh, it's the worst thing in the world. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, I'm, I'm not focusing on um, what it is I'm doing, I'm just thinking negative thoughts. Whereas if I, if I just have my focus on the breathing whilst I'm doing it, I, those thoughts don't necessarily come into my mind. I've got like a, a pinprick of focus that I could just concentrate on. That's my breathing. And before you know it, say if you, you decide I'm going to do a 5K, you would have finished that 5K and it would have felt like nothing because you kept your focus on one thing. So if I'm doing a jogger, Easy, okay? So that's uh, one way of dealing with your fitness and the cardio. Um, uh, another way is visualizing. Uh, so if, uh, say you're having trouble breaking, so say I'll use a 5K analogy again, you try and run a 5K and you can only do it in 45 minutes or an hour or, or whatever and you can't break that, I want you to visualize you doing it, then you doing your run, you look at your watch, you see you're at your usual point, halfway, usual time, halfway, and you're thinking, I'm ahead of that time. All right. And then you're running again, and you get three quarters through, you look at the time, you think, I'm ahead of that time too. And this is easy. And then you keep uh, thinking you get to the finish line, and you've cut off uh, the 30 seconds, or a minute, or, 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 or that chunk. Now, when you go out for your run next time, after visualizing it about you know, 10 times at least, um, it should be doable because you, you've tricked your brain thinking about it. It's, it's, you can do it. Um, the, the, when someone says they can and they say they can't, or, or two people, one says they can and one says they can't, they do something, they're both right because if this person says I can't do it and they just don't do it because they've already given up because they said they can't, or this person says I can and they keep pushing themselves until they've done it, that they're both correctly right. So you want to be the positive person that says, I can do it, and I will do it, um, and you should get it done. Touch wood. Got my fingers crossed for you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, breathing exercises and repetition. Um, say if uh, I'm dealing with a fight and I have to throw punches, I have to throw kicks, I have to move out of the way. The more I throw punches and kicks and move out of the way and Treat it like it's normal, uh, the more my body gets used to it, the less tension there is. 
if every time I go throw, if I'm, if I'm training and I'm thinking, right, I've got to pump as hard as I can and there's a little bit of aggression or uh, even some anxiety that I'm not doing as good as I, I wanted to, my, my body will associate that with the activity as opposed to me thinking it's nice and loose and this is like I'm, I'm making myself a cup of tea, nice and relaxed. Because I don't get, mm, pour the milk, oh, stir it. Okay, you're not tense. You want to be nice and loose. Be nice and loose, run those punches. This is nothing. Um, because you do it every day, and that's the mindset you want to be. So hopefully that should help you address your fix issues. Plus, checking out our videos um, on our Facebook page and even on YouTube as well. And our Instagram videos, but they're more a bit more technique than fitness. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video.